Hey cuties, what's up? Uh, welcome back. So, um, it's, it's been a long time in game since you were last year. Um, a little bit has happened. Uh, we've obviously played lots of matches. Um, we've done some transfer business. Um, but we're just going to talk about the transfer business now and then we'll get into the games. We're on Scott Metcalf. Um, he is one of the legacy players. Um, he was here when I started and I kind of just looked over him because I, I saw his you know, 32 years old and I saw his kind of stats and I was like, ugh, he's kind of a bad player. Um, and I, I just assumed that he was um, non-contract, <laughs> which was really, really stupid um, because he's actually the best paid player at the club. We pay him £325 a week. Um, so he is taking up a quarter of our current wage bill. And I, I just completely missed it. But he's not good. And he's, he's 32. And when we compare him with uh, Aidan Chippendale, who's we'll come on to him in a minute, um, and, and we do the, the highlight of the role for inside forward, Aidan Chippendale, bar dribbling and passing, is, and maybe off the ball, is the better player, except for the physicals policy. Like, they're not massively different, I guess. Um, but yeah, Chippendale is the better player. And considering I don't pay anything for him, why am I paying for Scott Metcalf? He's probably just going to go at the end of the season anyway. Um... But to try and save £325 a week, <laughs> um, I've offered them out on a free free transfer. We got some bids. We got Westfields, who were playing in today's FA Vase fifth round. I, I believe an old fan favourite of Football Manager people, thanks to uh, Work the Space. Um, Town or Town are interested. I, I've, I've accepted all of these offers. Um... So they're just negotiating contracts at the moment. Uh, the, the next person we're going to talk about is Chippendale. So he was meant to be leaving us uh, in the January transfer window. It was the 3rd of January he was supposed to leave us. But uh, we've extended his loan till the end of the season because I have not found a replacement. So I, I need him. <laughs> And he actually, his contract expires at the end of the season anyway. Um, I might try and sign him. The last player to talk about is Callum Bagshaw, um, who has left us as well. He was a non-contract player. He never really started. Well, he did start for us, but he was kind of a rotation squad player, kind of backup option. But that's the transfer news. Um, I am still scouting, I'm still looking for replacement players. Um, the only other thing of note is that Nathan Valentine was injured. He's missed about a month's worth of games. But something great has happened as a result. So Valentine, we were playing Reese Jenkins in Reese Jenkinson in that position. And he's been playing better. Now he is obviously right footed and I've been playing on the left hand side. I thought we could maybe try and work around that and develop his weaker foot. Not an option for us, apparently. Um, but Stanley has been knocking it out of the park. Um, his average rating is... I, I don't feel he's reflecting how he's actually been playing. Um, and he has a lot more to offer us. We, we've done a lot since you were last year. We've played a lot of games. Um, the first was AFC Blackpool, which... It's the Northwest Counties League Cup. It's not the most prestigious of cups. I don't think anyone's ever heard of it before now. I haven't. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we drew nil nil. Um, kind of a poor match, really. We we didn't really do very well. Um, and then we played AFC Liverpool one three two again, conceding more goals than I'd like to. Uh, then the FA raised third round against Penrith. What did I say about Penrith? 
um, one through one. There's a little nice little game. St. Helens away, 3 0. Ashton Town, 1 0. Uh, another kind of tricky game. Um, Moncrief is very inconsistent. He plays really well and then he doesn't play well. And then we played Schiffnell in the fourth round of the FA Vase. Again, 1 3 0. Uh, Garstang, 2 1. Nelson, 2 0. Daisy Hill, 4 2. Their bottom of the table, Daisy Hill. And they managed to get two goals against us. Very worrying. Uh, and then we played AFC Blackpool again in the league this time. 1 0. At least we scored. Um, I think that was kind of like a very worrying late first half goal. Um, I thought we were just going to end that game with 0 0, but we won. Um, then we played back up, which was 2 0 to us. Then we played Prestwich in the third round of the League Cup. We won 3 0. And that brings us up to today. Um, so we played a lot of games and uh, we've won every single one of them. We're still top of the league. Uh, so, yeah, without kind of any other waiting, let's get into today's match. Uh, fifth round of the FA Vase and it's off to a relatively bad start for us. Um, they've had one shot on target, two shots on target already. Um, something is not going well for us today. Um, we've, we've got the possession, we just don't seem to be able to do anything with it. And when they get the ball, they're obviously coming forward. So it's a pretty boring first half today. Although we have now a highlight, Chippendale, out to Stanley, again playing nicely and just as I was being nice about him loses the ball. Whitehead with a tackle, Arthur Stanley Gilboy throws it at the pitch lops it, kicks it, whatever it's not throwing it. And then McDavid oh, off the post so that was a good chance um, but all of our shots have been off target so we're not doing well uh, I am going to point the finger. I am not happy. Because I'm not happy. We, we should be winning quite comfortably. Um, let's demand more from them. We're on the attack. Um, let's make a tweak. Let's go through the middle of the park. And see if that makes a difference. Uh, so in with the corner... Came on Moncrief in the back of the net from the corner. That is what we like. So hopefully we can maintain that lead. If not, extend it. That would be even nicer. So McDavid swings it in. Everyone's completely oblivious to what's happening around them. And Moncrief just slides in at the back and is done. Um, so yes, let's swap off Hunt for uh, Lent. Just uh, try and keep him away from that yellow card because he might well get it. And let's take off Healy and replace him with Dan Lowther. And fingers crossed, it's coming up to the end of the game. No more highlights, maybe. The clock is just ticking and ticking and ticking. Four minutes out of time. We haven't played great. It's actually been a pretty poor game. But I'm happy with the win. I'll take it. Um, so, yeah, we win. Let's see how much money we make. After that game, we made 4.5k, which again tops up the bank balance quite nicely. And our overall balance is now roughly where it was back in September. I'm just going to skip ahead to the next match um, and we'll be back for Lower Breck in just a second. Today is the day. Can we get those extra three points and take ourselves nine points clear? We are playing Lower Breck. Um, I am going to not listen to the assistant manager. I'm just going to ignore him. And uh, let's get into today's second match. Wait for the uh, dressing room. Um, yep. I am 
going to pump my fists and say, let's do it for the fans. It's probably not what they, uh, they probably don't care, do they? Um, we're, we're at home, so we are in our stadium. It is our fans. Let's see if that makes any difference. So we're already five minutes in and uh, 10 minutes in now. Nothing's happening. Uh, this might be a kind of stalemate kind of match with nobody taking up much, taking much out of this. But we do have the possession and we do have the throw in. I, I was going to cough. I'm not like excited. I am excited. <laughs> uh, so back to Gilboy, uh, who passes it through to Jenkinson. <clears throat> I'm always nervous when he has the ball. Uh, Gilboy throws it, kicks it forward, chipping down Moncrief. Moncrief gets us the first goal of the game. I'm a little bit all over the place <laughs> um, because I, I'm trying to keep up with what's going on here. Um, I am kind of excited about this because it is the chance that we get to just run away with the league, essentially. Um, yeah, nice little goal by Moncrief. Perhaps their defending was questionable there. Um, but here we go, another highlight. McDavid Hunt. Just going to say all over the crossbar. Um, I keep saying this, we're not good at heading. We need to keep the ball low. Um, wherever possible. Um, I, I'm going to demand a bit more from them. Um, didn't get the reaction I was hoping for from the players on the pitch. But yeah, we they haven't had a single shot. Um, but that's... I'd, we've had three shots. <laughs> But we've only scored one goal. Um, yeah, so I, I'm very happy with how we're defending, obviously. There's their first shot. Um, but I'm not quite happy where we're at in terms of going forward. Um, but now it's a highlight for them. Chong has the ball, loops it forward to Wadham. Is he going to get a cross in? He does more. Say it's past the... Uh, wrong side of the no oh, I, I guess um, Ed got a touch to that oh anyway Healy heads it clear Madav is going to sweep up the loose ball and is he going to just lump it forward for Moncrief no he's going to bring it inside he's going to cross it into Moncrief is he going to win a penalty no I see what Jean do trying to win us the penalty trying to secure us that goal um, Arthur needs to come off He's tired, bringing Dan Lowther, and let's let's keep going. I saw the ball in the back of the net and got worried. Um, anyway, Moncrief, Healy, nice defending there, guys. Um, although poor clearance. Anyway, Hunt heads it out to Jenkinson, who just lumps it up. Moncrief, Campbell missing his header there. Um, I guess nobody heads it well in this division. But Moncrief gets us the second goal and hopefully ties this match up with a nice little bow with a good little individual run there. As you can see, he I, look at this. He is he he's the only player in that third of the pitch right now. There are three. There are seven, eight of the other team's players there, and he just. He, he's too good for this he <laughs> yeah takes on eight other players and just hammers it home um, let's make a couple more subs before the end of the match um, Joe Stanley not playing well but I can't take him off because I don't have a replacement so he's just going to have to stay there um, we're going to have to take off whoever's tired I can't take off Healy I can't really do much at the moment with subs but I can take off my David um and we'll just call that it. We'll call that it. Um, we will praise the team. Oh, they've got a highlight from a free kick. Lynch, Hunt again heads it out. Heads it clear. Um, he's a one of our best. He's the best defender that we have. That's going to be offside, but it doesn't matter. It's a free kick. I thought that was going to go in, but whew. so yeah, that that 
should be it for the game. We we've won. Oh, one more highlight. <laughs> Get carried away. Uh, Chong through to where Odom, uh, McGrath back to Campbell, who quite nicely passes that through, and McGrath puts it in the back of the net. But that is surely it, right? They cannot equalise in the next sixty seconds, surely. And well, they don't. So that's it. That's two one. That was very sloppy uh, towards the end of the match. Um, they had the better XG, which worrying, really. But um, let's just say it was a good match to to the players because it was a good match. We won. We we've taken the three points, and we're now nine points clear of lower break. So I'll see you next time. Um, we'll come back for Salt Dean in the sixth round of the FA Vase. But um, I'll see you next time, cuties. Bye-bye.